You're now tuned into mint, 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 mint. Million dollars worth of game. Mm -hmm. We down here at Second Avenue, uh, East Atlanta. Uh, well, you know, we had to come down here and get with my brother, man. Hancho, man. A real one, man. And most of my songs, I'm, I'm mentioning God and I'm thanking God for something. It's just like, that. it got to be the album name. Second Ave, I was dead. Where you was at? Live in the flesh. Where? Second Ave. Listen, man, Second Ave, crank that shit up. Hey, yeah, let me show you how I do it. I don't, you ain't never had no, this is a big record right here, baby. This, he just putting on all f hits. <laughs> I'm gonna make this quick. Yeah, make sure y'all go get that album because you know it's about everything that you know all of us need to do. Thank God, Hancho, and it's just like that, right? You're now tuned into mint, 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 million dollars worth of game. Mm -hmm. We down here at Second Avenue, uh. East Atlanta. Uh. You know we had to come down here and get with my brother, man, Hancho, man, a real one, man. Every time we see him, the energy is always there. He always in his own zone. He created his own world. He doing his own thing. Um, the new album coming out. Mm. Listen, man. Thank God. Mm. Everything we got. But before we go any further, this episode of Me and I Was Worth a Game is presented by Jack Pocket, the number one lottery app in America. You hear me? Use the promo code Gilly. Download it. Put Gilly in. Get a free ticket, man. You know what I'm saying? For Mega Million Powerballs, my ticket oh, messing around be the one to get you $89 million. So download Jackpocket America's on, number on, one app. This episode of Me and Osworth for Game is brought to you by Jackpocket. You feeling lucky? Well, get ready to try your luck with Jackpocket, America's number one lottery app. With Jackpocket, you can order Powerball, Mega Million, tickets right on your phone. I mean, right there. You just whip your phone out, look. It's that simple. Whip your phone out, bam, jack pocket. Ah, 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 ah. You can order your tickets right there on your phone. And even official state lottery games right there on your phone. Every day there's millions up for grabs right on your phone. So new customers get a free lottery ticket by using code Gilly. Whip out your phone right now. Download Jack Pocket. Promo code Gilly. Come on, G-I-L-L-I-E. Come on. Come on for your chance to win free Powerball, Mega Million tickets. Don't wait, download Jack Pocket now for your chance to win big. Good luck, Jack Pocket, America's number one lottery app. Why would you play anything else? Right. 22 is a very important year, man. You was 22 years old. I, you know, I remember when I was 22, I was in the penitentiary doing a zillion years. Um, you know, you wrapped your case up, you got your deal, you had your son, you know, why is 22 so important to you? I know why, but I know it was personal when you was going through everything you was going through. Yeah, 22 is the hood, like, uh, second out. And then, like, 22 is where a lot, of, a lot changed for me in my life. Like, I signed my deal. Um, I, I finished my case. I ain't beat it, but I finished my case. Um, you know, and my career started turning around. Like, rap started going up for me. How did it feel getting in the game, you know, coming from the, you know, you, you was playing ball. You was, then you had, you know, you was in the streets. You know, how did it feel to transition, man? Did, did you feel it? Did you feel it when when it started to catch? How was you feeling? I really still getting used to it, for real. Um, I don't know. I'm just trying to figure it. I'm still I'm still going with emotion. Like 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 you 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 got over a billion streams. You got them gold plaques. Like this shit is like this is really real. Like you inside of this shit, for real. There's a lot of people that came out that never even reach them heights so you still trying to understand it. you ain't even, you you still ain't even you know feel it yet you just like is this really happening yeah no i just like i don't i ain't trying to get the big head so i just like i don't really like look too big at my accomplishments because i know i can get bigger like i don't want to get comfortable or feel like i made it yeah i think what you're saying but you know how did it feel like to know you'd be able to take care of your mom you know like, how did that feel? You know, we all seen it ourselves, but you know, it's a different feeling when you really could do that. Cause we don't see that that often where people get in the game and do things, they just flex up themselves. Okay. Like, how does it feel to flex up your mom and, you know, do all that? It feel great. Cause that's what I always wanted to do. Like, I mean, I, I really feel like that's what every nigga want to do. Like seeing your mama struggle, like, mm -hmm. and then making her happy. Like that's what everybody want to do. It feel great. Mm -hmm. Did you think, did you ever think, you know, cause we be seeing you play ball. Did you think you had a chance to go to the league? I did for a minute, but like probably like when I got in like 10th grade in high school, and I just started thinking like this probably ain't gonna be it. But I kept playing though. But it's just like I really couldn't like play on the team because I kept I kept up in school. 
So it's just like, and then I, I start feeling like they already picked like from middle school to, who finna yeah. go to the NBA. So it's just like, I was just playing, like hoping I go. It wasn't like I just knew I was gonna go. I was good though. Let me say this, right? Cause I get a lot of, I get a lot of, you know, I, I know a lot of rappers, a lot of entertainers, a lot of comedians, athletes. And you know, we get offered to come a lot of places, mostly parties, you know, those type of events, you know what I'm saying? But I got a different text from you yesterday. You feel me? You text me, yo, y'all in the city? I hit you back, yeah, we've been here all day. You say, you Muslim, right? I say, yeah. You say, you want to come pray with me tomorrow? That hit a little different. I ain't even going to lie, man. Because you always get offered to the, to the, the smoke sessions, to the, to the turn up. But very rarely, and I can say this, no rapper entertainer never asks me, yo, man, come pray with me, man. You Muslim, right? Come pray with me. So when I showed up at the mass year today, you know what I'm saying? It was like, it was, it was, it was kind of special for me because I, I looked at you in a whole different light. You feel what I'm saying? Because I know that all the things you out here doing, being great, providing for your family, just got your dad a car. Your dad come out, man, he feeling, man, I had to park mine, you know, with me, because I ain't want people, you know, you can't get too close to my puppy. You know what I mean? Dad feeling good, but you still remain to put God first, man. You still remember that, yo, let me go, let me go get this slide. Let me, let me make it to Juma, let me, and I respect that, man. You know what I mean? I, I really respect you for that because that said a lot about your character and who you are and how you show up and you just, you just out there amongst the people, you kick it with the people, they could touch you, they could feel you. You feel what I'm saying? That's the greatest motivation that you can ever provide for the community that you come out of when you make it out and people look up to you, but yet and still, you still right there entrenched in the community and they can feel you and they can touch you and they can look at you. I seen the way them little brothers was looking at you today when you walked out. They like, man, anything is possible. So I just wanted to salute you on that, man, because that's big, man. Man, that you come from second half, this the gutter, man. It just ain't, if, and you made it out, and, and you you giving these young kids somebody that they can look up to and realize that if he done it, I can do it. That's big, man. So I just wanted to salute you on that. Yeah, message salute. How do you stay, how do you fight off all the distractions in this game? Because this industry, you know, once you start popping, everybody coming at you. Everybody want to be your friend. Everybody, you know. They want to get around you and everything and everybody got all these offer and they offer you everything. How do you stay disciplined through all through it all? Um, I ain't gonna lie, I just rock with who I rock with. Like if I do if I do uh lock in with somebody, they probably be for like a minute, then I'm back to doing what I'm doing because I gotta focus on what I got going on. Now, you you titled your album, thank God, right? You you know, usually artists will have a song. Just one song dedicated to God, but why? Why was it so important for you to title the whole album? Thank, thank God. Because I was listening to my music, like a lot of my songs, and most of my songs, I'm I'm mentioning God, and I'm thanking God for something. It's just like that. It got to be the album name. Yeah, and you know what's crazy? Um, those that don't know, I'm on, I'm on this album, and you said, what? That, yeah, I'm on this album. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not. Just come on, man. Stop hating me. Can my... you keep making the cuts? That Albums, my, man. You mad because my, 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 my career bigger than yours. That's it. No, but well, listen, your well, rap listen, career listen, wasn't listen, I'm going to tell you all now. All the young out there, right? He's a hater. I, I'm, 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 I'm jumping on albums from here on out. You hear me? I understand. Now he, now he I, hating on I, me. I'm, I'm standing. They went the Martin Luther King route. If you need Malcolm X on your shit, <laughs> call me. You hear me? You, you, you got a problem about women not being shit. You need me to talk on the front. Where you from? Orlando, Florida. Huh? I come right on there and leash you. Yeah. He's a nut. But uh, but but you know what's crazy? You sent me the song, and I put my. You didn't give me no direction for real. You just sent me the song, and when I come on the song, the first thing I say is "Dear God." I didn't know nothing about the title of the album. I ain't know nothing about it. You know, you just talking about rookie of the year on there, and it's just crazy that the whole album play out of that. And all I'm doing is speaking to God on behalf of you, like it's coming from you about your journey, about the kids, about the family, about the mom, about not, 
you know, and um, that's strong, though, man, because I think we live in a world where though a lot of a lot of us, we forget about God and we forget that he he, you know, without God, none of this is possible. But I want to know. Like, how do you how do you like how do your mama feel? You know what I mean? The see that you made it because a lot of dudes ain't made, a lot of the homies ain't make it. I mean, she loved to see it. She tell me every time, but I ain't gonna just act like like I'm just like we just fit the rich and everything just all good. She still needs sometimes. I still need sometimes. I'm still working. I'm trying to get, I'm trying to get to where I need to be. Where's, she proud of me though. Where's the next level at? Like like what is the next level for you? This episode of Million Dollars Worth of Game is brought to you by DraftKings. Does your favorite NBA player have what it takes to be crowned king of the court? Find out at DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of the official sports betting partner of the NBA. DraftKings DraftKings is offering 1 million a day in bonus bets for the first 10 days of the NBA season. That's 10 million in bonus bets. Here's how you shoot your shot. Opt in and get a daily NBA profit boost token. Pick a pregame NBA player prop to boost. If the player leads the league that night in points plus rebounds plus assists, you win a share of the 1 million in bonus bets. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app right now. Use code Gilly. Come on. Whip your phone out. Come on. Pull it out right now. Code Gilly, G-I-L-L-I-E, to win a share of $1 million in bonus bets. If your player is king of the court, only on DraftKings, the crown is yours. Uh, I don't even know. I really just, I don't try to, like, um, make too many plans for myself. I just like to leave it to God. Wherever I go, I go. But I'm just, I'm just working. Like, wherever, how far I go, I go. But I do want longevity, though. When you, when you was putting the album together, how did you come up, you know, we don't need to get into, no, I know who's on there, but how did you come up with reaching out to people and saying, I want this person, that person, that person? How did you come out with, you know, how, what was your whole process on that? It's like, it's like if, I, if I do a song and I hear somebody like, I don't know the type beat that they, that they make music on, I hear them and say they're trying to get on there. I just started doing that for a minute though, because I, I was reaching out to a lot of folks trying to get folks on my music and shit weren't responding. So, and then it's mutual though, cause like the people who I got on my shit wanted to be on my shit. Like, like we've been talking this shit, so it was just some organic. Shit. It ain't really like I had to go look for nobody. But like everything you do, be kind of like well, some on some organic. Yeah, it like, seemed like he ain't just. You know what I mean? Even me, even me coming to to the hood and just kicking it with you and your homies, it's just some organic. You feel what I'm saying? It's just like if I pulled up and I didn't know who Hancho was. I wouldn't be able to pick him out. You feel what I'm saying? Because all your they pretty much looking the same. It ain't no uh, big eyes and little U's. You know what I'm saying? So when I see you and I come around and I, I you know, I peep, I'm like, this around here seem like it's all love and it's tight knit. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, for sure. And that's what you need to be able to survive in this game. Like, like how is, how is it knowing you dropping this album? Like, how do you feel? that you completed it when the album was done, what was the feeling you got? Was it like, bet, it's on now. I'm ready to turn it up. Yeah, I had to, I had to change it like four or five times though. <laughs> Why you had yeah. to change it? Cause I keep making music and it's like, every time I make a new song, I just want to add it on there. Yeah. But you got I mean, pull cause it's going to be 22 cuts. Yeah, we had to pick from, I ain't going to lie, we had to probably pick from like 30, 40 songs. And then after we were done with that, we still had to pick from like 25. And then when we got down to 22, I probably switched like three more songs. I, I got too much music. How do you keep your composure when you, that you're a part of this game now and you see so much fake shit? Like, how do you keep your composure when you see it and you be like? Uh, I, don't, I, ain't, I ain't really just linked up with too many people to even know if niggas be fake or not for real. Mm -hmm. like, I just be doing my own thing. Who f with me, f with me. The folks who f with me, they, they keep it real. What is your process? But I don't like, like in the industry, like from the industry, I don't really f them on like another level other than music. music yeah. What is your process when you go into that studio? Is you there when the beat, when the producer is making the beat, or you just say send a pack? Like how is your process? It be I already beats in my engineer email. I just tell him uh, play him. He go through them, and then I pick pick which ones I want. I go straight in the booth, do it, come out, do it again. 
What's your favorite part of this game? Is it the recording process? Or is it when you go do them shows, you know, you see all them cameras lit up, all them lights in the shows? Because every time I see you doing the show, it's like, they packed out. Like, you know, but what's your best experience of this? I like recording. That's probably my favorite part. I don't really like too much like performing and being outside in the public. I don't, I don't really like the spotlight. I'm still getting used to it. What made you target the women? Because, I mean, you, you know, you make, you make street type of music, but your shit be targeted towards the women. You feel what I'm saying? In an era where everybody is making boop, bop, bop, boop, bop, bop, did 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 music. I really just tried it. It's like, like I don't know. When I do whatever comes to my mind, it came to my mind to like make a make a tape for the female. But what I was doing before wasn't working. Probably two, probably like two songs work, but I couldn't keep doing the same. And then spitting some different. How did it feel to get on that freshman cover? Feel great. I, 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 feel, I feel like that put me on it last year, but I ain't tripping. That's good money. Like that was that something that you wanted like. From, from seeing it all these years, you was like, man, I'm gonna get on that fresh. But that was like attention, like, I'm gonna get on that cover. Yeah, definitely when I first started rapping, I wanted to be on that. Mm. That shit happened. Was it, how, how was the feeling when you, when you was like, you got the news, like, yo, you on that cover? It felt good. You got, you got over a billion streams. How'd that feel? I feel like I need them, I need them plaques. You need them plaques? Yeah. You got that gold one. Yeah. So you, you gotta get, well, you know you keep hustling gold turning into platinum, baby. That's how it works. I got, I got two gold. I got, I probably got like five, six songs finna be gold in a minute. Probably in like a month or two. So that's that's all a blessing. And then eventually them golds turn into platinum. Yeah. With hard work, you know. And then some of the new records is platinum. Yeah, so that's major. When you, when when is when when. when this album you going on tour? Uh, I probably do my own tour after I draw the album. Depending on how the album do. If it do, if it do good, a couple song catch, then I go on tour. Now I'm gonna drop again. I keep dropping to some catch, then I'm gonna go on tour. But if I get an offer to go on tour, I probably go a good offer. Hmm, that's what I'm talking about, man. Well, listen, man. We ready? We you know, Gil ain't hear none of this song. We ready to go check out this album. We want to we want to listen to this album, hear these songs. You know, see who got, cause I, you know, Gil, you, know, you don't know who on here. He got some, he got some on here. I could imagine. He got he some got, shit on here. The thing about him, he, he I, I, I respect his humbleness, man. He a humble, laid back. Even, even when he, even when he the internet up, man, man cars and doing real ball It's still on a humble level, man. So, you know what I mean? I, I salute you, man. Especially from a, that's been in a relationship for a while and, and, and understand that you, somebody that's there for you, you're supposed to treat them good. So when I see you doing the ball at a young age, and I respect it, man. But let's get to the studio, man, and, you know, listen to these hits. Right! This episode of Million Dollars Worth of Game is brought to you by New Amsterdam Vodka. Now, you know the saying, life ain't going your way. Shout out to New Amsterdam Vodka. You caught your wife cheating today. Shout out to New Amsterdam Vodka. You thought that check was coming and uh, it didn't come your way. Shout out to New Amsterdam Vodka. It's distilled five times. It's filtered three times for a clean, crisp finish. And you can drink it straight up on the rocks. Juice, soda, or just make a classic New Amsterdam mule. That's up to you. But when you're out and about at your local liquor store, Make sure you get some New Amsterdam vodka, the official vodka of Barstool. And shout out to the New Amsterdam queen. Tootie be at the crib, you know, getting busy with the cocktails with the New Amsterdam. And it's great for pre-gaming right now. It's hockey, it's baseball, it's basketball, it's football. What are we talking about? New Amsterdam vodka. Try you some. Right. It's all love, man. Y'all be careful, man. Oh, you ain't never had no. This is a big record right here, baby. This is out of here. He just put on all f hits. <laughs> you wanna know something crazy, bro? My motherfucking. See where I sliced my eyelid right there? I did that. 
coming out of that booth right there in 2002, man. And guess what? These didn't make no renovations. <laughs> this shit look exactly the fuck the same. 20 some years, they ain't they changed the couches or nothing in this bitch. <laughs> the f That's back when I was signed on cash money. That's crazy, that's the same. 20 years ago, they was bringing cookies the f out. They still bringing them. But they didn't change nothing around this joint. This episode of Million Dollars Worth of Game is brought to you by HelloFresh. Make this fall the tastiest season yet with farm fresh produce and easy autumn inspired recipes delivered right to your door with HelloFresh. HelloFresh delivers all pre portioned ingredients you'll need to make easy homemade meals. All the proteins, veggies, sauces, spices, and more arrive in a box along with simple instructions that walk you through each step in the cooking process. Whip your tasty restaurant-style meals in your own kitchen without high price tags of takeout in less than it takes to get delivered. Oh, hold on. Whip out tasty restaurant-style meals. It Whip up Tasty restaurant style meals in your own kitchen without the high price tag of takeout and in less time than it takes to get delivery. Get 10 free meals at HelloFresh.com slash free dollars applied across seven boxes. New subscribers only varies by plan. That's 10 free HelloFresh meals just by going to HelloFresh.com slash free dollars. Make sure you tap in. Hello, fresh. Right. You know what you're doing, man? Yeah. All right. A little bit. I know he that, said a little bit. I know that eight ball going in the middle. <laughs> uh, yeah. That means you know something. I'm ready to kill him. I'm going to make it quick. Watch this. I'm finna make it quick. You think so? I'm gonna make it quick because you gotta get up out of here. You hear this? I'm finna make this quick. What? Oh, get him, Logue. You got a. We can't leave here with no with no L. That was a tight rack. He had a tight, a loose rack on me. Come on. You know he been locked up all his life. Hell no, he ain't got that. <laughs> Three corner. Watch yourself. You been on him? Come on now. It's over. It's over. You ain't got nothing now. What you got? It's over. Where you going? When I made that first one, it's over. Where you going? Where you going now? I'm finna hit this in here. I'm finna hit this out this. No, no, you ain't there. Oh yeah. Yeah, I got the power. I got the power here. My fault. A little rusty. I'm a little rusty, man. You ain't looking that good, cuz. Keep all we real with you. Oh, man, you ain't. I'm rusty, man. He rusty too, though. I thought he was. I thought I was done. He been in here all these days in the studio. I thought he, all right. No, Neff. He ain't, what are you gonna do? He not doing, no, he not that cold. For one. For one. Where you putting it at? You might as well pay, you might as well go ahead and pay up for one. Tony, man. I'm not gonna pay that money for Don't worry about it, Neff. I got you. He ain't doing right that. He ain't doing nothing. I'm going right here. No, he not, he not getting that off. No. Oh, this is over with. You're done. Right there. It's over. 
Fizz, you got no more grab Game time. Game time. I'm going to bring it right here, Neff. Watch this. As much as we in the bank. You see what's going on with yes. that one hot show in the gang, man? Uh -huh. Listen, man, check out that new album. Thank God, man. If you ain't got it, man, listen, we heard the whole op. Listen. Second half. Listen, man, it's, it's up. I was there. Where you was at? Live in the flesh, nigga. Where? Second half, nigga. Listen, man, second, second half. What you talking about? What else? You, you wasn't there. You pulled up when it was interview time, scared. You out what? there I was, already? Neff, I was out there with my Neff. The I was there, I was, I was, come on, we was I was out there at 11 o'clock. You lying up. Huh? Out you lying I'm out there like this. Yeah. Yeah. He get there right at interview time. No, I was I was in the business. They he look lying. crazy. Steph, you lying, no, this is lying like a <laughs> But listen, man, make sure y'all go get that album because, you know, it's about everything that, you know, all of us need to do. Thank God, Hancho, and it's just like that. Right.